Hi everyone, Gina here with Balance Body Solutions and today we're going to talk a little bit about hip impingement. It's something that I've seen a lot over the years with various patients and clients, but a few weeks ago I started experiencing it myself. So having that opportunity to kind of see what it feels like, um, I'm going to really take the time here to kind of explain what it feels like, what you're looking for, and then some ways to um, help get rid of it. As always, anytime you jump on something early, you're gonna have way better luck. So luckily I've pretty well got it taken care of for the moment. That being said, these exercises are beneficial um, really for, for anything as far as the hip and stability and strength. So just to kind of describe what it feels like, it's just pain kind of right in the front of your hip. Um, I was doing some lunges and that's where I started feeling it just right here in the front. Also, it can get really pinchy if you're doing any type of like across the body stretch. So if you're coming across like this, it'll start to hurt there. I was actually doing a little bit of um, some traction here. So I was pushing it kind of down this way and then still pulling across. So that way I could actually get full range of motion with my stretch. Um, that might be something that it might be a little complicated for you guys, but just trying to kind of explain some of the positions that I was feeling some discomfort. So knowing what I had and what I needed to do, glutes, like you really have to start working on your glutes. Um, truthfully, most people have weak glutes. So again, this is something that really anybody can work on and would be good in for some prevention. So the exercise that I chose to do is one that is fairly common, but the quality of this exercise is more important than the quantity by far. So a donkey kick, a lot of people will just kind of knock them out and that they'll just sit here and do a donkey kick and their back is arching. That's not what you're looking for with this. If you're doing a donkey kick, you're trying to keep everything really tight in the core. My back is not arching and I am squeezing my glute. So on the first round, this is honestly about as far as I get. If I hang out here a moment, take a breath, breathe out, I can raise it a little bit further. Take a breath in, breathe out, a little bit further. So you guys can see, if I were to have just stopped and went back down and went up again quickly, I would have lost a lot of range of motion with this. So I'm just kind of keeping it there, pressing up, breathe, pressing up, breathe, and that's about it for me. Actually a little bit shaky. My butt was on fire with that. So that's one of the things that you can work on as far as getting those glutes to really fire um, and help with some hip impingement. Another one could be working on bridges. But again, quality is a little bit more important than anything else. So when you're doing a bridge, it's not just simply bridging up and coming back down. You really wanna to try to access like full range of motion. So you really want to try to squeeze the top as much as you can. Once you get full, full extension, then you're going to slowly lower down. If you're able to, a single leg bridge can work really well, which would look like this. But as you guys can see, I actually have a long ways to go with this. So one good way to work on that is put the other leg back down, get myself fully up, then try to hold, 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 kick out, and then slowly lower down. So again, bridging up as far as I can, squeeze and hold, kick one leg out, and then slowly lower down. If the one leg out is a little bit too advanced, then you can simply lift up and then kind of go up on the heel, or excuse me, the toes on one side, and then Putting the pressure to the heel on the other side. So bridge, I'm gonna pop the toe up on one side, keep through the heel on the other side. So if you do that slow and you really work through the quality of those exercises, they can be really beneficial. I hope that helps.